For KWWire.com, I'm Chris Dosky here at the Winter National Guard Armory talking competitive cheer and dance with the coaches, Cindy Demers and also Val Ewing. So let's start with you, Cindy. Uh, talk about the start to the season, how your girls are looking. Well, we've had our first competition and it's always good to get that underway. You find out what the judges are looking for and what we can improve on. In order to qualify for state, we have to do three different dances. So we compete in palm, we compete in kick, and we compete in hip hop. Um, we've had a few summer camps. We've been working on technique, and so we're really excited to keep the season going and see what we can improve on to get to state. We were just talking off the air. Uh, you got a mix of youth and experience. Uh, talk about some of the girls returning to for leadership. Well, I have six seniors this year. Five of them are returning lettermen. Two of them are um, Brielle and McKenna. And then I've got three captains that are seniors, and each one of them is in charge of a dance. That's Gracie Lataw and Sierra Hansen and Sadie Woods. And they have been great leaders. But with such a young team, I'm relying on all of the girls who are past dancers to help out with the young girls on the team. So that's in the winter dance side of things. So let's talk about the competitive cheer team with their coach, Val Ewing. How are things going so far? Um, good. We also had our first competition and we actually out of six teams came out third, which was really good for us. Again, that first one, we never feel like we're quite prepared for it, but um, all the stunts landed and it, I mean, everything went really well, even with having to make some major changes the morning of. So we're now getting into the part of the season where we're hoping to get back into what a regular routine would look like and not have to make as many changes, but solidify our stunts and get things really solid for us. Like Cindy's team, you guys have been uh, really uh, challenged this month. A lot of good competition this month. Yeah, we actually have our home competition on the 8th of September, which is a Saturday. We really want to see winter people out because that's a chance for the girls to showcase their talent to hometown crowd, which is nice. Um, it always helps to hear some fans yelling in the stands for them just because it boosts their enthusiasm and energy a little bit. Um, and then we turn right around and we go to Spearfish on Monday, which is um, a new competition for us, but it gives us a chance to see some of those West River teams. And we have Spear, or, um, Sioux Falls Roosevelt on the 29th of September, which is a big one for us. It's a lot of AA schools, a lot of really hard competition. But again, it gives us a chance to see what kind of stunts we can up to and things to look for and strive for. So. Yeah, if you've been, never seen these girls compete, it's really, really entertaining. So get out to the Winter Armory this weekend and uh, some big competitions coming up for uh, Cindy and Val's teams for Winter Competitive Cheer and Dance. For KWWire.com, I'm Chris Dasky.